What's up, fight fans? This is JD of BBTV News. Back with a next news update. You know, I got to keep y'all updated on the latest and greatest in the sport of boxing. With that being said, man, let's talk a little bit about Mr. Errol Spence Jr. Now, I know you all have seen over the past week or two where Errol quickly for a second, you know, put out a post on social media uh, after he just recently had a cataract surgery. And, you know, he also put, you know, uh, a statement after it that that could have been partly why he was getting clipped by so many shots from Terrence Bud Crawford in their first bout. You know, and then, of course, you know, uh, Terrence Bud Crawford came out on social media and stated that last he checked, you know, everybody gets a checkup prior to getting in the ring. So for me, you know, as a, a number one fan of Terrence Bud Crawford, I'm going to tell you all right now, I typically am very, very biased only when it comes to a couple of fighters uh, over their career. And that probably is Manny Pacquiao. And then I probably would say Terrence Bud Crawford. But I also am a huge Spence fan. So when Spence did this, I did immediately look at it like, dang, I know Errol Spence is not making an excuse for the fight, right? I know he's not making an excuse for the fight because that's not what I feel like Errol Spence would do, you know, as a stand-up dude and as a fighter. I don't think he would come out and begin to start laying out a bunch of excuses as to why he was thoroughly dominated by, you know, Terrence Bud Crawford. I feel like he would, you know, just, just give Bud his props, you know, and, and not go that route. But then I stopped and I thought about it. And I thought about, you know what? Maybe it's not about Errol Spence uh, making any excuses. Maybe this is Errol Spence trying to sell the next fight with Terrence Bud Crawford. I mean, because it actually, when you sit back for a second and you think about it, Errol Spence actually does have to come up with one or two excuses for that performance that we saw against Terrence Bud Crawford. And the reason why he has to do that is because if Errol Spence Jr. comes out and he really tells everybody that he was at his best, that you know he had a great training camp, uh, that he had no injuries, you name it, if he comes out and he says that, then there's not anybody who, after that dominating of a performance by Bud, who would really buy a rematch. You know, nobody would buy a rematch if, honestly, Errol was at his best for that bout and got dominated that badly. So when you think about it, Errol actually, in a rare case, leading into a rematch, he actually does have to sell the public a little bit, even if it may make him look suspect. You've got to sell the public on the idea that that wasn't the best version of you, whether it could have been uh, eye injury again, whether it could have been a shoulder, whether it could have been getting sick throughout your camp. You kind of have to sell the public on the idea that the rematch would be a little bit better than the first one. Because if, if if you were perfectly normal, perfectly healthy, and ready for the first one, and it ended like that, man, nobody's going to even want to buy that bout. And nobody's going to even believe that anything would be any different at 152, 153, or 154 if y'all make the fight at that weight. So when I start to think about, you know, the eye excuse, the cataract surgery, all those different things... I actually, th I actually am glad that Errol Spence put that out there because we've got to have something as a reason to why the rematch between him and Bud could turn out different. So I'm not as mad at, mad at it as some people are out there feeling like Errol's making excuses. I feel like this is a rare case where Errol does have to come out and say something because at the end of the day, this is prize fighting. And for you to get people to spend their hard-earned money to pay to see you and Bud face off again, you got to sell the public on an idea that there is something that was wrong leading up to that Bud fight. So let me know what you think in the comments. Do you think that Errol Spence, you know, is making excuses? Or do you think Errol is doing what he has to do to drum up uh, some interest in a potential rematch with him and Bud Crawford that should be coming probably in the next three or four months. So let me know what you think in the comments. And until next time, this is JD of BBTV News, and I'm out.